If you want to save electricity and improve your quality of life, consider installing a programmable or Wi-Fi thermostat by Honeywell. First, you want to make sure that the power is off to the unit, and then you can start taking apart the old thermostat. You'll want to get access to the thermostat wires. While you have access to the thermostat wires, note where they're connected by taking a picture or writing it down. Then you want to start removing the anchors that hold everything in place. With the old thermostat out of the way, we're going to be adding the C wire onto this thermostat so we don't have to depend on battery backup. It's often required on Wi-Fi thermostats as well. You want to trim these wires pretty short. You don't need much when you're connecting them. The thermostat comes with a wall plate, but I'm going to need to use this bigger goof plate. It's about $5 extra. We're going to pre-mark our holes and drill them into the studs. If you don't have studs, it comes with drywall anchors. You can use those as well. After the screws are pre-drilled, it's in time to install your face plate. Uh, we're going to do three screws and level it up really nicely. With everything in place, we're going to then install the part that connects the thermostat wires. You're going to need to put a lot of pressure on this thing to snap it in place. And then when connecting your thermostat wires, put them exactly back how they were on the old thermostat by pushing down the pins on the right and left and sliding the wires underneath. Once underneath, give them tugs to make sure that they're secure. Then you can close it up when you're done. We're now going to do the optional step of going to the furnace or the air handler and checking to make sure that our C wire is hooked up. This one's already hooked up so we don't have to worry about it. We can close up the unit and turn the power back on so we can test everything out. I prefer to pull the batteries out of the thermostat and make sure that the C wire is operational. After I confirm the thermostat comes on without the batteries, I'll then plug back in the batteries. These ones will just help save programming issues in case you have a power outage. Lastly, you'll need to go through the installer setup menu and I'll do a separate video on this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for following.